I'm here in Souq Waqif. Souq Waqif is the oldest marketplace in Qatar. Souq Waqif gets its name from an old practice. Souq is Arabic for market and Waqif is Arabic for standing. And the practice was they would trade while standing. That's where it got its name, Souq Waqif. So the main promenade in the Souq is filled with coffee shops and it's filled with places to hang out. But the real market is tucked away in these alleyways. And as soon as we get in, you'll notice the old feeling that this thing has been here for a while. You'll get bombarded with sensation of smells, so many smells, and I'll tell you what all those smells are. You know what, better yet, let's show you. Come on, round this corner. Incense, big part of our culture and we always buy it here in the souk. This is for your clothes, for your house. Just smelling good is always good, so. As you're walking, you'll notice that this is just stone and mud. This is the actual original architecture, how it was built. And the reason they use mud is that it has cooling properties. So you can imagine in the summer, this place would have gotten really, really hot. But when you're walking in these narrow roads and trading, the walls will be cooler than going in outside, so it's functional architecture. And if you pay closer attention up there, that's all post-renovation, so you can tell that it's newer. But they're keeping the same kind of essence of the place. It hasn't gone too far away from what it was. So sometimes you'll see people in the shop and then your eyes will lock and you can ask them about something you want. So like if I know I want a ghatra and he sees me, I'm just like, yo, can I have a ghatra? You just throw out the price at you. If you're unhappy, you can just ignore him and walk on. <laughs> so what can you expect to find when you're in Sugwagif? You'll find a lot of gold, a lot of antiques, a lot of cloth, a lot of traditional gear, and also food and incense. Those are most of the things that you'll find in Sugwagif. Another key thing that you must know is that when you're in Sugwagif, I'd advise you to have a bit of cash on you because that way you can haggle and save a little bit more on your money and not spend the full price when you're using your debit card or credit card. 35? Okay. Let's go, give me one of these for 35. Yes, please. You know, if you didn't give it to me for 35, what was gonna happen? I was gonna leave. <laughs> like last time. <laughs>